Hi everyone, thank you for joining in. I would like to present you my long-term short review of the Audio-Technica ATH-M50X VT2 wired slash wireless over-ear close-back studio headphones. So without further ado, let's start from unboxing. The ATH-M50X VT2 comes in large hard paper box with almost all needed information printed all over it. Inside we've got lots of paper folders, including worldwide warranty card, manuals, in different languages, etc. Further, we've got here soft PayU pouch with large audio technica logo and little paper wrap with short USB-A to USB-C charging cable. Also 1.2 meter long, 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter audio cable with L-shaped plug for use with portable devices. And here is the headphones itself. All construction seems to be durable, based around metal headband with some composite plastic parts. Looks a lot like basic design studio headphones. On the left side we've got all control knobs with dedicated knob for the voice assistant of your choice. All knobs are easy to operate and simple to use. This headphones is not so much different from the previous wireless reincarnation of M50X, but there is some obvious changes. The new model has an integrated microphone and multi-device pairing. It has an industry-leading battery life for up to 50 hours of continuous use. Also, sound customization through the Audio-Technica headphones companion app and USB-C charging port. Bluetooth wireless audio has made a significant progress in recent years, but wired audio connection is still very important for many applications especially in Pro Audio, ATH-M50XBT could be used very well with cable. So let's check out some cables I've used it with. Like for example Ugreen Flat Aux 2 meter long cable. I'm using this cable time by time. It is very light and high quality cable with clean sound. Delaycon Hi-Fi Aux cable. It is one of the better quality, quite thick with high quality connectors, good for quality critical studio works, if you not mind the construction. Last but certainly not least would be this Mogami Pro Quad microphone cable, which is probably would be the one to get if you busy with some audio quality critical studio works. Mogami is well-known Japanese high-end cables manufacturer, famous for exceptional quality of its products. Connectors on this cable made by Amphenol, which is also a good brand name in pro audio world. As in many other cases, I've decided to try out other options for the ear parts. Here I've got quite usual replacement ear parts from not so known to me manufacturer from the Amazon online store. These air parts are very soft, even some sort of smoochy. It is definitely add some comfort, but unfortunately it affects general sound signature in negative way. Headphones sound much less focused, without any serious presence of bass, dual and lifeless. Therefore I would not recommend it, just save your money. As you can see here, the original ear parts are made very well, with thin layer of sponge kind of material used inside and some other little tricks. But it does not mean that overall comfort of these headphones could not be improved further. High quality genuine leather custom made ear parts surely could bring extra comfort without distorting beautiful sound signature of these headphones. But I'll come back to it later. I would recommend to use extra cover for the headband, because in my opinion it is not only adding some comfort and stability, but also could cover up those big white letters on top of the headband, which is in my personal opinion absolutely unnecessary and kind of cheapening overall look, so to say. Now let's talk about audio quality. In past 6-7 months I've used these headphones almost for everything. In my opinion, ATH M50X BT2 sound better with cable. Clarity details and channel separation seems to be significantly better through the cable. 
The sound is clean, without overblown bass or spiky highs, very well balanced overall, honest to the source and absolutely not boring. In my opinion these headphones is one of the not so many truly versatile and reliable pieces of gear, good for writing as well as for recording and mastering music and other audio applications in or out of the studio. Let's not forget about DJing. Bass lines sound punchy and precise with nice extension in sub-lower frequencies. Comparing it to my all-time favorite AKG K271 MK2, I have to say that I still prefer it over Audio Technica for studio works. To my ears AKG sound a bit easier, more precise in middle and higher frequencies range. Also the construction with large yokes and light headband makes it easier to wear for a longer period. Nevertheless AKG does not fold and does not have any wireless technology to it. Now I would like to come back for a moment to the ear parts. After some time of looking around I've got myself a pair of genuine leather customized ear parts which I would recommend instead of original ones. Now let's talk about ATH M50 XBT wireless capabilities. I've tested these headphones with mostly vintage pop music. DD Jackson, The Queen, Lou Reed, The Depeche Mode. ATH M50 XBT2 able to deliver every little detail in full beauty, without sound messy, boomy or chaotic. Everything sound exact and engaging, with lots of power, joy to listen to, and I could easily recreate myself a sound stage. After almost a half year of intensive use, I could not recall any serious problem with these headphones. It's comfortable, durable and equally good for wired or wireless use. 50 hours battery life from single charge, truly versatile pair of great over-ear studio close-back headphones. And that would be all for now. As usual, thank you for joining in, thumbs up if you liked it, please subscribe and see you all next time.